Hey guys, today we have a spin-off problem to what we had solved in our previous episode. Here we have an array of 9 numbers which are non-zero and positive and each number in the array occur twice except 3 numbers which occur only once. Here in this example we have 128, 384, 101 occurring only once in the array whereas the remaining numbers occur twice. Also, these three numbers will have some unique properties. One of them is a power of two number, we call it x. The other one is a multiple of x and we call it y. And the third number, z, is smaller than x and y. So your task is to find these numbers x, y and z given the input array. I would suggest you to watch the previous episode of this series in which we solved a similar but simpler question where we had to find only two non-repeating numbers in an array. If you want to try this question yourself, please pause this video now and start coding. Alright, let's revise some basic concepts we had learned in our previous episodes. First, any power of two number will have only one set bit in its binary form. So a number x which is a power of two number will look something like 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 with only one set bit in the position j. Second, any number y which is a multiple of x where x is a power of two number with set bit in position j will have set bits only in position j or to the left of j. So in y, the bits to the right of jth position will have zeros. Third, any number z which is smaller than a power of two number x which has set bit in jth position will have set bits only in the positions to the right of jth position. Therefore, the jth position in z and the bits to the left of jth position will all be zeros. Great, now let's revise some concepts of XOR. Given a number a, a XOR a will result in 0. And for numbers a, b, c, d, if we do a, XOR b, XOR a, XOR c, XOR d, we will have a xor a as 0 and 0 xor b xor c xor d will result in b xor c xor d. Okay, now let's hit the question. Let's take a simpler example with smaller numbers. We have binary representation of 9 numbers here. 9, 14, 11, twice and we have x4, y12, and z3. 4 is a power of 2 number, 12 is a multiple of 4, and 3 is smaller than x and y. Now if we do an XOR of all these numbers, we have 9 XOR 9 as 0, 14 XOR 14 is 0, 11 XOR 11 is 0, and 4 XOR 12 XOR 3 will be 1, 0, 1, 1, that is 11. Alright, step 1, result 1 is XOR of all numbers in the array. Now let's see the properties of X, Y and Z. If you noticed, the positions in which the bits are 1 in Z, the corresponding bits in X and Y are always 0, isn't it? So, if we do an XOR of x, y and z, the rightmost bit in the result will always be in the position of the rightmost set bit in z, right? So here, in result 1, the rightmost set bit of result 1 is in the position of the rightmost set bit in z, and in that position, x and y will always have 0 bit. So we can differentiate z from x and y using this idea. Therefore, step 2. We will find the rightmost set bit in the XOR result. So rightmost set bit in result 1 is equal to result 1 and minus result 1. 
Now, if you don't understand this operation, please watch our episode on unsetting all bits in a number except the rightmost one, whose link is in the description below. Alright, since our XOR result was 1011, therefore the output of step 2 will be 0001. So the rightmost set bit was the LSB bit. Now to find Z, we will do XOR of all the numbers in the array which also has Z bit in the position of the rightmost Z bit in result 1. Therefore, in this XOR, X and Y will be excluded, but some of the other numbers in the array which occur twice will be included. Since we have rightmost set bit as the LSB, therefore we will have 9, XOR 9, XOR 11, XOR 11, XOR 3. 9 XOR 9 is 0, 11 XOR 11 is 0, 0 XOR 0, XOR 3 is 3. And this way we will find our answer Z. So step 3, we have result Z equal to XOR of all those numbers in the array which satisfy the condition. Array number ended with rightmost set bit of result 1 is not equal to 0. And we have Z equal to 3 as the output here. Great. Next, we need to find the other two unknown numbers x and y. And now this problem is similar to what we solved in our previous episode where we had to find two unique numbers in an array. Okay, now let's remove z from the equation since we already found it. Result 1 was equivalent to x xor y xor z. Therefore, result 1 xor z will be x xor y xor z xor z equal to x xor y so step 4 result 2 is equal to result 1 xor z which is x xor y and in this example it will be 1000 we have an xor concept if we do an xor of two numbers the result will have set bits only in those positions where only one of those numbers has set bit. So in result 2, a set bit in any position would mean only one of x and y has a set bit in that position. And we will use this idea to figure out x and y. Now we can find the rightmost set bit in result 2. Step 5. We have rightmost set bit of result 2 equal to result 2 and minus result 2. And the output is 1, 0, 0, 0. So in the fourth position from LSP, we have only one of x and y having a set bit. Also, there would be other numbers in the array which also has set bit in the fourth position, but also they occur twice. So Step 6, we find XOR of those numbers in the array which satisfy the condition. The array number ended with rightmost set bit of result 2 should not be equal to 0. Basically, we are doing 9, XOR 14, XOR 9, XOR 14, XOR 11, XOR 11, XOR 12. So 0, XOR 0, XOR 0, XOR 12. The result will be 12 here and number 1 is equal to 12. Now number 1 could be either x or y. We don't know yet. Also we already have result 2 which is equivalent to x x or y. So xor of result 2 with number 1 will give us the other unknown number between x and y. So step 7 number 2 is equal to result 2 XOR number 1. Now we have both X and Y which are number 1 and number 2. The number which is greater amongst number 1 and number 2 will be Y and the smaller one will be X. Since we have number 2 equal to 4 and number 1 is 12, therefore X is 4 and Y is 12. And we have found our three unique numbers in the array. That's it. This brings us to the end of this episode. We have some more complicated problems coming up. So do subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. See you.